Do you ask yourself if Last Day on Earth has paid to win? And do your friends keep telling you every single day that Last Day on Earth is the most filthy paid to win game ever? Do you search for this answer every single day? Well, search no more, because I'll get you covered. God damn it, this was such a <laughs> cringe intro, but jokes aside, guys, welcome to Last Day on Earth, and today, like you guessed, we're gonna be tackling the question of Last Day on Earth is paid to win or no, but first of all, Happy New Year, and let's check out what kind of presents did we get. Here we go, guys, this is what we got for, these were my New Year's presents, I mean, we got a YOLO log, and we got some leather and two ropes, well, that's kind of a underwhelming loot. I thought that we're gonna get something better, at least maybe on Christmas. I thought that we're gonna get like some sort of a gun maybe or something, but we got nothing at the same time. Well, whatever, let's not, co let's not complain about the, these YOLO logs are pretty great as well. But let's actually start talking if Last Day on Earth is paid to win or no, and I think I'll be doing Alpha Bunker at that, and then you will learn why. So starting our topic, I would like to start it from saying who says that Last Day on Earth is paid to win. So basically, whenever I show to someone that I have like, for example, full trunk of weapons, that I have two, three trunks of weapons, and I keep getting an answer. Oh, is it possible to get all those weapons being free to play plus? How do I get weapons in Last on Earth being as a free-to-play player? And every time they add that free-to-play, it feels like they just think that the only way to get guns here on Last on Earth is by buying them. And to be honest, it's probably the most inefficient way to spend money here in Last Day on Earth. There is other ways, there is other things in Last on Earth that you would rather buy rather than buying guns. Because guns are probably the one of the easiest and the most important resources that you can get here by yourself. And I keep saying that all the freaking time that the only way to get guns here and the best way to get guns here is just by doing Alpha Bunker. And then there are people, well, I'm scared to do Alpha Bunker. Well, I don't know how to do Alpha bunker i don't have guns to do alpha bunker and the point is you don't need any weapons to do alpha bunker you don't need any guns i mean to do alpha bunker if you can't kill frenzy giants because the best way to get guns is by opening up red crates but for that you need to use weapons to kill frenzy giants and if you don't have any weapons then just don't kill those frenzy giants avoid them and open up a couple of yellow crates because i can actually show you what kind of loot you're gonna get from the yellow crate and from the green crate just look at that guys from the yellow crate you are getting two guns look at that you already got two guns so after you're gonna get those two guns you'll be able to kill a bunch of frenzy giants and after a couple of times you'll be able to open up that red crate plus you're getting here a full set plus a couple of healing items gasoline iron and same with green crate and green crate you're getting already one more gun and plus one melee weapon so to get that green and yellow crate is very easy at alpha bunker you don't even have to kill those frenzy giants but i would still suggest you saving up your weapons the only time when you will be using your assault rifles your guns is for frenzy giants if you don't have any other web if you don't have any more guns then don't use them on anything else but but Frenzy Giants. And if you don't know how to do Alpha Bunker, because for those who don't actually know, for those who just started playing Last on Earth, and if you've heard the Last on Earth is paid to win, there is actually a strategy of how to do Alpha Bunker. You can't just come here and do it randomly. The point is you have to have enough healing items, which I would suggest getting carrots and crowbars as they are the most easy weapons to craft and just start doing Alpha Bunker. And that's it. There's nothing else you have to get here and you'll be able to do Alpha Bunker easy peasy and in a couple of bunker runs, you'll be able to do it perfectly. So there's gonna be link in the description on that explains on how to do alpha bunker second floor it's a bit older video of mine but it's not that super old so it's still valid that video is still valid so make sure to check it out if you don't know how to do alpha bunker there are going to be all the tips that i've learned myself and this way you'll be able to do alpha bunker more efficiently to save up more weapons and this way to get even more guns from alpha bunker so hopefully i answered your question that the point is the worst way you can spend your money here in the game is to probably buy weapons because weapons to buy weapons here is really expensive weapons are really expensive in the shop and they're totally not worth it as you can get those weapons all by yourself easy peasy lemon squeezy so the other aspects of the game as buying walls for example and i would totally agree that probably the most pay to winish thing here that is the hardest to obtain by grinding yourself is to get true friend dog and also crafting steel walls but even that is possible i crafted almost 70% of my base without buying a single pack here. And when you look here in my inbox, some people might say, well, Cyrek, you do have some guns here in your inbox, but all these guns are usually almost... Is my camera twitching? I got all of these guns from the diary, from those diary military thingies that were back in the days. And yes, I bought those, but it's not like I got... Okay, my camera is twitching. And I do have a bunch of weapons. I have like almost four trunks full of guns at the base, and I did not buy those guns. All those guns were gotten from Alpha Bunker, because I 
said alpha book you can get like probably you can get seven guns every single run so with those seven guns you're gonna be able to save up them pretty quickly and it's not like you can get all those weapons in one day so talking about other aspect of the game about those steel rooms they are yes indeed they are a bit harder to get but at the same time you don't even have to buy them as they give no value because currently raids are really really bad so you don't even need to raid i mean i stopped raiding as they became so trashy as it's not even worth it to have a great base anymore because if you don't raid you don't really need steel walls and at the same time you can protect your base without steel walls well you might also say that it's pretty hard to get oak in this game so it's pretty hard to craft stone walls but i would kind of disagree with you here because getting oak isn't really that hard you have to actually kind of grind for that oak it's not like getting pine wood but at the same time after you unlock your chopper which is really easy now to unlock your chopper after the last recent update so getting chopper is not a big deal after you unlock that oak area you can get bunch of oak and you can start crafting walls pretty easy peasy i would say i wouldn't say that it's really that easy easy to craft those stone walls but at the same time they're definitely not paid to win you can definitely get them easily and even steel walls steel walls are still possible i crafted my three by three steel room and one by one steel room inside of it for some reason for free i didn't pay a single penny for those steel walls so it's still possible it's just it's gonna take a little bit more time and it's again a bit harder to get steel than get oak but yeah, in my opinion it's still buying for example that stuff in the shop when you go to buildings you have to pay 115 bucks to get that steel room and i would say that the some would say wow it's so expensive it's like that's why it's paid to win but the point is if it, is, if it was cheaper that would be worse and at the same time even buying that makes it a bit unfair because you have to grind way more than paying for 115 bucks here to get that steel room so buying that steel room is actually worth it because it's because you will have to grind for months and months until you're gonna be until you're gonna build that steel room but it's still not paid to win thing as you can get those steel plates by yourself just by grinding so it's not a big deal i would still say that steel in this game isn't paid to win especially now when you can recycle your batteries in the recycler so it's still very easy guys to do that to get those steel plates so don't worry about steel plates steel plates and guns are not paid to win items here but the only i would say more pay to win -ish items are true friend dogs in this game because they are really hard to get and it takes almost forever to get them and also those treat for do uh, dog treats treat for dogs they are guys really pay to win -ish and it's like it's almost impossible to find them and they give almost no value when you find them because you find like one dog treat per week if you're very lucky and it's really useless and it works only for true friend dog and that true friend dog is so useless currently in the game so guys it's like while this is probably one of the things that it's really hard to get yourself but at the same time you can't go in the shop and buy true friend dog yourself you can go and get here level three puppy but at the same time you will need to buy multiple puppies here in order to get that true friend dog so you'll need to spend here a lot of money to get that true friend dog and i would just suggest you probably just go and get your own true friend doggo and to be honest don't even bother about it because i do have a true friend dog i got it as well for free i didn't buy any puppies in the shop i was lucky enough to get that level four dog but had to breed so many of them and at the same time that true friend dog is totally useless so don't even worry that you don't have it so again like this is probably one of the most hard obtainable things here in last on earth like those dog treats and dog itself so yes indeed while those dog treats are kind of paid to winish but at the same time they're totally useless so again saying that this game is paid to win just because of that it's kind of useless because i would say it's something as of a skin item it's not like really a skin item but it's like those skin items in other games where you spend your money just to get just to have a different skin it's almost same with true friend dog here it's totally useless it almost Almost doesn't give any protection it gets tired super quickly and those dog treats are so expensive in the shop as to spend like what 40 cents for five minutes of gameplay with your dog is totally totally useless and also another tip while we're doing here you can kill frenzy giants with literally with zip guns and you can find zip guns basically everywhere in green zones and everywhere so just try to kill these frenzy giants with zip guns as this way you'll be able to save up even more weapons and save up your glock so it's really easy guys to kill these frenzy giants and do the other stuff and also I actually forgot to talk Talk about blueprints here in the game because blueprints are kind of 50 50 because again blueprints are something that would make the game easier but at the same time it's not something necessary weapons in this game are necessary and they're easy to get like before a uh, chopper was kind of as well paid when you had to actually grind a lot or be very lucky to get that gas tank but currently they made it really easy to get so i can't say that chopper now is paid to win as chopper is really easy to get so when you go to the shop you go to equip and you can actually see that blueprints here actually cost a little bit and you for example can get this file with rare blueprints you're gonna get here one extremely rare a couple of randoms blah 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 
and you can buy those blueprints here and they are really worth the money because it is almost impossible to find purple blueprints here in the game but at the same time those purple blueprints aren't gonna make your life way easier here on last on earth i almost have zero purple blueprints here on last on earth and i'm still fine with that you can get blue blueprints for your weapons and common those gray blueprints from police department but in my opinion it shouldn't be going to police department until you master alpha bunker properly and when you're gonna have like extra trunk or two trunks of weapons from those alpha bunkers from chopper events when you're gathering enough guns then you can start doing police department so for that you will need to play the game at least maybe for like three months until you will be able to start doing police department properly and then you will be able to get more blueprints for your weapons but even then blueprints for your guns aren't really that much worth it after you upgrade your gun fully maybe you're gonna get like what 30 like probably max 30 percent boost to everything in your weapon so it isn't really that much even worth it. you can actually use your guns properly without those, those mods so those mods are something that would make your life easier in last on earth but at the same time they are not really something important and plus they aren't paid to win as you can get most of the blueprints like for example all these uh, blueprints from for my machete i got them from from the farm and for those who didn't know you can get melee blueprints from the farm so you can grind farm yourself and get those blueprints here i got all those pipe blueprints from the farm as well and most of these blueprints here on the glock you can get them from police department as well so it's not really that hard so while i would say that it's easy to go and buy blueprints at the shop they will speed up your progress tremendously but at the same time you you can get those blueprints yourself so as well i wouldn't call those blueprints that much pay to win as currently we have police department when blueprints came out and we had no police department then yes blueprints were really paid to finish but right now when we have that police department it's really easy to grind those blueprints plus farm is so cheap you can do the farm with like only like what two melee weapons and one gun so blueprints aren't paid to win as well so hopefully guys i answered your question that last day on earth is really far away from pay to win as most of the things that are here in the game you can get them for free except those doggo treats which are totally useless as they're really expensive and I totally guys wouldn't suggest you buying those doggo trees just to use your dog as it's totally totally useless as I mentioned that multiple times here already in the video so hopefully you don't have any more questions here that last donuts is paid to win because I keep getting so many questions and most of the people like I would say 80 or 90 percent of the people say that last donuts is paid to win just because they can't get weapons and it's totally not true the the hardest things to obtain here in the game are steel plates true friend dog those dog treats and blueprints for your weapons especially those purple blueprints for your weapons but all those things would make your life a bit easier but they're not necessary and to find guns is so easy as one to three after doing alpha bunker is so don't even worry about that hopefully you will learn how to do alpha bunker properly and you'll be able to save up a bunch of weapons because basically that's what you have to do here basically just doing alpha bunker every two days and you're hoarding your guns and that's it after that you can start using them on other things as police the Department. And also after you unlock chopper you have to go to those chopper events because chopper events do have a bunch of great loot there They have a bunch of free guns So just go to that chopper event after you unlock your chopper Everything takes time to grind here and for those who say that last of us is pay to win They probably haven't played other games like for example supercell games are way more pay to win than last on earth And even then in supercell for example, you need skill to grind like some might say well in supercell games like for example in clash royale and uh, Other games well, you need skill to progress in the game you don't only have to spend money to upgrade your cards well same here on last and other when you're gonna have the proper knowledge you won't have to spend any money in the game i got all most of my items here in the game without spending a single penny the only thing i got here is going so that i can make videos faster so that i don't have to wait 30 minutes on the screen and wait here so that i can travel from one area to another area so that i could live stream longer and all those other things all the guns that i have there in my inbox were gotten from those carlos diaries or whatever that everybody gets there in the shop that you could buy the pay to play version for like five bucks to extend it and that's how i got those guns there in my inbox so don't even worry about that and for those there's another tip that i could actually give you can actually even go and kill those for example frenzy giants doing a wall trick just like that for example you can attack him hide behind the wall and you don't even need weapons to do this but it's a wall trick glitch and a lot of people are using that and at the same time i don't have a problem with it as it's probably one of the most skillful gameplay items here i mean mechanics here in the game if I wouldn't suck at it. But the point is, I'm not even talking about this mechanic. I'm not even giving tips that you should be killing that. Killing those frenzy giants with glitches. Because I did get, like, probably two trunks of guns without even 
killing those frenzy giants this way. I was using my weapons to kill those frenzy giants as I'm just too lazy to use that trick. I mean, I can just, why use the trick when I have now enough weapons to go and just blast those frenzy giants with like shotguns and other weapons. But after you have, but you can even use that if you really struggle with weapons, you can actually go and hide behind the wall and kill frenzy giants with your weapons just like that but i'm not even suggesting like i said i'm not even suggesting that tip because it's totally possible to get rich with guns and last on earth from by killing frenzy giant just like that and you might ask me why do i keep talking about guns I already covered that gun tip already that you can get guns for free because 90 percent of the people if not 95 percent of the people say that last on earth is paid to win because it's impossible to fight guns whenever they see my trunks of weapons they're like oh you're just paid to win like last on earth is paid to win because it's impossible to get that many weapons without paying it's like so easy the the most probably skillful aspect here in last day on earth is knowledge might sound meme-ish but for real guys you have to have some knowledge here in last day on earth to progress further in other games you need like for example more skill like let's say in those supercell games as clash royale you need to actually get more skill in the game so and again that skill is knowledge so i just probably uncover the biggest secret that skill is basically knowledge and in last day on earth here you need a lot of knowledge to know where can you obtain such items how can you do certain trick how can you do certain how can you kill certain zombie and alpha bunker faster easier using less resources to save up more weapons and get more weapons and be more rich and last on earth in total so and for those who don't know why you should be killing frenzy giants is because they are dropping red tickets like that guys with 30 red tickets you're gonna be able to get four weapons at the crate so it's easy peasy lemon squeezy and i wouldn't suggest you doing the fourth floor if we're talking about tips i wouldn't totally suggest you doing the fourth floor as the fourth floor takes a lot of weapons and it is not really worth it to do so just don't bother about the fourth floor just do the second and third floor and do the third floor in hard mode bunker to kill the blind one there is it's gonna drop 10 tickets oh my goodness couldn't sneak up on that zombies that totally fell as i tried to talk and i felt complete so this video is not really that much organized with like uh, 10 tips on how to to get rich and last on earth properly here in this video i'm talking basically about everything and this video is going to be really useful especially for those who just started playing last on earth so if you didn't know if last on earth is paid to win or not then i think that after this video you are sure that that last and earth isn't really paid to win because there is nothing to pay in this game to win as there is no end game and goal progress there is nothing that you can win here in this game this game is all about grinding and all about getting more items to get more satisfaction out of playing the game so it does take some time also talking about time on how long it's gonna take here to progress in the game don't think that this is one of those games that you can play for one hour for a day for a week and you're gonna have everything in this game this game is meant to play for months you aren't supposed to get all those things in one day because if you want to get for example like trunk of guns in a week it's almost near to impossible as you can get seven weapons from alpha bunker every two days so just count how long time uh, for how long you will need to grind here to get all those weapons and how much time it's gonna take you to get those weapons and at the same time you need to get your base and currently while i'm playing this game in 1.11.3 raids are total garbage and i wouldn't suggest you spending any time on doing those tasks just to be able to raid as raids are really not worth it and plus raiders are gonna start raiding your base and you're just gonna lose more items than you're gonna gain from their base i mean before raids were kind of worth it but currently raids are so bad that you're just gonna lose more stuff than you'll get so i wouldn't suggest you bothering about raids unless you're watching this video when the game is out of bed and it's 2.0 or something and raids now are better then i don't know but currently raids are super trash oh and while we're actually outside here let's talk quickly about the event so this for those who don't know so this is where i'm currently located this is the alpha bunker and for those who don't know how to enter the alpha bunker because you might say well i don't have alpha card just grind green zones here and there kill zombies and you're gonna be able to find that green card in no time then there is police department you shouldn't go there until you're level 99 i would say as it's not really that much worth it you need here to have a bunch of guns so you're gonna get a bunch of guns after you're gonna grind that bunker alpha and reaching level 99 i think it's possible in a couple of weeks in a month after you if you grind alpha bunker every two days so you're gonna be able to do after that police department when you'll have like extra 40 50 weapons to spend here on the police department and there is other videos on youtube and on my channel as well on how to do police department motel motel Hell is just meh i never do it as it doesn't have really great loot so it's really easy to do just with one crowbar but it doesn't have anything great at the destroyed convoy just go there to the last body and search for the finger if it doesn't have finger then just exit the convoy don't kill any zombies there farm farm is really easy to do when you know the proper strategies i made the video not long ago on how to do the farm location so just watch that video in order to know how to do it all you need there is just one weapon and one gun and two melee weapons and you'll be able to do that 
farm easily as well and you'll be able to get their blueprints from the farm so you could go there to the farm after you would like le like level 60 i would say because when you're a newcomer at last on earth when you didn't when you haven't even reached level 60 then i don't think that farm is actually gonna give you any type of resource that you need but if you already have enough weapons and if you think that you already mastered last you know then i would suggest you that your next goal should be going to that crooked creek farm and grinding it there and the gas station is is just a gas station i would suggest you going there after you unlocked your choppers and you have some spare items like gas tanks and chopper forks and other things to give there to Jane because that's the only thing that you would go there to gas station so I wouldn't suggest you grinding that gas station if you haven't unlocked everything so basically I just want to show you my base all that stuff that's in the middle and all the walls around were gotten from free to play stuff I grinded all those walls all those things myself after walls were hard to craft because for those who don't know like about a year ago walls were way easier to craft as you didn't need that much oak and you didn't need oak completely to craft those walls so I didn't craft those walls where they were easy to craft I crafted them when they were hard to craft so as you can see it's totally possible to craft those walls as a free-to-play player even those steel walls here we go guys all that steel room inside and all those steel rooms outside were crafted by myself with uh, with my hands with free-to-play items without spending here a single penny but meanwhile those two other rooms that are here on the sides were gotten from the shops where you could get like for 20 bucks a bunch of steel plates and that's where i used my opportunity i got those steel plates but i haven't bought a single like 115 120 box steel pack as they're pretty much expensive and you don't need this and i get a bunch of satisfaction of getting those steel plates myself this is how i'm getting steel plates to have that level to refined melting furnace and this is how you're getting basically steel blades you're just smelting your copper bars you can get copper bars at northern area which is pretty hard to get but i would suggest you just recycling your batteries at the recycler here currently i'm recycling my winchester as it's total trash look at how many copper bars i've got just from recycling batteries as recycling batteries guys is totally useful it's the best thing to get copper bars in my opinion and look at how many steel plates i got and i'm not even using them anymore as i'm just saving them up until we're gonna get more content in the game as i don't even want to use those steel bars right now to craft more walls as why i already have enough steel walls plus as we can see guys i do have enough oak to start upgrading my base even more often but i stopped raiding and i don't really care about raids anymore as raids are total trash but talking more about guns look at that guys i do have another chunk of guns over here another chunk of guns over here so as you can see i got all those weapons just for free to play and you can't buy that many weapons yourself but you will need to spend hundreds and hundreds of bucks to get them and i didn't spend a penny for those weapons as i got all of them for free so hopefully i answered all of your questions this video was definitely a bit longer than i wanted it to be but hopefully i answered all your questions so i highly suggest you checking out my brawl stars let's play just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there or click here on the second card and you'll watch another last on earth survival let's play video and i'm uploading such videos on youtube every single day so make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos also guys drop that like button while we're at it and peace 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 out